Yeah. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. You can't relate. Straight talk going. Stay not safe. safe. Before you cross me, look both ways. Leaving the scene with no trace. Not in my lead. You out of place. I'm not at the top. I'm out of space. Can't eat with us. We're out of place. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. You can't relate. Straight talk going. State to state. Guys, it's Vinny Host here, and today I am back for another five questions. And today I am here with Tyler Hill. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Number one, do you have a guess on who the matchmaker is on New Frontier? Um, not really. I've had, I've had the matchmaker message me personally, but it's one of those things I don't even try to try to guess. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, like, how many guys are? Uh, it, it it could be Adam Hayes, as far as we know. I mean, I have no idea. It could be. No, I have no idea. No, it's not Adam. Hayes. Not Adam yeah. Hayes. I I am out of guesses. For a second there, I thought it was you, and now I just I don't even know who it is. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, you know what? We'll just go to the second question. <laughs> Number two. Mick Foley has a bat, Triple H has a sledgehammer, you have a crutch wrapped in barbed wire. Yeah. How did you come up with that? <laughs> well, <laughs> so the whole crutch idea was back to when um, me and Sean first wrestled. Um, Sean, I don't know if you know him as Shawnee Mo or whatever, but um, when we first did our thing with CWS, he actually came out with a wooden crutch. And for the longest time, we used it in angles and things like that. But then um, one time, I don't even, I, I, a fan, I think it was that Busted Knuckle, came up to me and they were like, oh, it'd be pretty cool if you actually like wrapped that. And I was like looking at it like, who wrapped a crutch in barbed wire? Like that's, like, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a crutch. <laughs> like, that doesn't, but then, uh, but no, I did it. And it just, for some reason, it got over. Everybody just kind of loved it and it kind of just took off. Wow, wow. <laughs> Number three, out of all the years of wrestling you've had, what is your one of your favorite matches? Um, Again, would be my 10,000 thumbtack match with Sean. Um, that was for, um, I think, no, uh, no, yeah, that was for Death Proof, and that was my debut there. Um, we pretty much did a little bit of everything, from wrestling to death match to pure wrestling to hard hit it, it, it was just good all around um yeah that's probably one of my favorite ones then there's also like the jesse beaver matches on cwf like anything with him is great so yeah he's amazing yeah. <laughs> uh number four you're very well known for hardcore wrestling was it always like that or when you when did you evolve to that um so for the longest time I was actually so for actually for eight years I did just straight professional wrestling. Um with CWF actually I was on the winter roads doing all their tours, um, everything else like that. And then um yeah, it just kinda happened that um Busted Knuckle was running a show and there was an angle for me to do something with Sean and Jesse Amato back then. And yeah, I took it and it was my first death match and I don't know. There's something about it that, like, when I was done, I've never in wrestling had that kind of rush or, like, adrenaline after a match before. And it just, I fell in love with it right away. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's it's more fun, you know, to do all that crazy stuff. It's different, right? Yeah. N the fifth and final question. How many matches do you think you haven't bled in? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's so many. I mean, I've only been doing... Hardcore slash deathmatch wrestling now for about, I want to say, six or seven years, six years or so. So, like, I've actually still done more wrestling than deathmatch stuff, if you actually, like, count it all up. So, there's a, a lot, like, probably over 1,500 matches more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. Yeah. There's, like, That's a lot. A lot. That's a yeah. lot. <laughs> well... I mean, is there more of you bleeding in matches, or is there more of you not bleeding in matches? Um, there's definitely more of me not bleeding in matches. Well, that's um, good. Definitely. <laughs> a, a lot more. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. 
my head doesn't like when I bleed all the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I shave my head and I, and I get like a tan or a sunburn. You can see every little scar, every little white mark. It, <laughs> it's sore. It's sore. <laughs> Walk you to a you store with that. <laughs> Well, thank you again for having this amazing conversation with me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash those up and subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified each time you post a video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace, none in my lead. You out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm outer space. Any with us, we're out of place. I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. Straight talk going state to state